We are recording. I didn't have it on before either. If you're in area interest, anybody uh, claim on this meeting? Seeing none, we shall continue. <coughs> Moved by Daryl McLaughlin, seconded by Dave Mackay, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region adopts the agenda for the 20, September 21st, 2016 regular council meeting. Discussion? No discussion. All those in favor? Carried. Wait a minute. You see that? You see how we did that? I knew you'd be, I knew you'd be proud. Moved by Dave Mackay, seconded by Daryl McLaughlin, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region adopts the minutes for the August 17, 2016 regular council meeting. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Daryl McLaughlin, seconded by Dave Mackay, be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region approve the attached schedule of general purpose accounts in the amount of 666,271.86 and water fund accounts in the amount of 3,575.82 for the period of August 1st to 31st, 2016 and that the above accounts be paid. Any discussion? All those in favor? Carried. <clears throat> Moved by Dave Mackay, second by Daryl McLaughlin. Be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region receives and files departmental reports. Our Treasurer, Marcia, have you got anything to add to your report? No, I don't. Any questions of Marcia? Thank you, Marcia. Bill, have you got anything to add? Nope, not this time. Any questions of Bill? Thank you, Bill. Environmental Services Manager, that would be Steve. Have you got anything to add? Yes, I do, Mayor. Oh, jeepers. Go ahead. Um, I was wondering if uh, maybe there would be any interest from Council um, of anybody sitting on the project team for the sewage plant just to have some uh, elected official representation. Um, if there is any interest, um, maybe if you could let me know in the next uh, couple of days. Um, there will be a project meeting basically once a month, usually in the mornings um, in Pembroke. Yes. Oh, you're interested? Yes, I'm interested. Fantastic. Um, we usually meet um, in Pembroke about once a month, usually nine in the morning. We will also be uh, looking at uh, possible tours coming up soon of some uh, preferred technologies um, in Ontario, so there may be a couple of trips involved. Um, but anyway, if anybody else is interested, that would be, uh, that would be great to have uh, some representation on the project team. And uh, just let me know, and maybe by week's end, if you are interested. That's it. That's all I okay. have to add. Uh, Councillor Romstead. It's a question, Steve, on the um, 
the diesel generator, the diesel backup generator. Do we know when that's uh, slated for completion? The um, I believe it's early December or late November. The pad is supposed to be prepared um, by this crew out front. When they're done, they're going to be preparing the pad. And uh, when when we awarded the uh, RFP, it takes six or seven weeks for the generator to actually arrive. It has to be ordered. So um, yeah, it's looking like early December, late November should be operational. Any other questions of Steve? Thanks, Steve. Yeah, yes, uh, sorry. I could actually just go back to um, Mr. Meisner for a second. It's not on Absolutely. the report, but just today, um, it looked like they ran into some complications maybe at the corner. I don't know what street that is, but right at the Fresh Mart. Is there a breakage or something there? That no, there? what it was, it's part of the county work on Main Street. Um, when they did the cameraing of the storm sewers last winter in pre-preparation of the work, they found what appeared to be a water main going through the county storm sewer. And nobody could confirm that it was live or dead. So they put it into the contract that uh, during work they would excavate the site and figure out if it was live or dead. If it was live, they were going to have to reroute it under our water main. At one point they said it would be our bill and I said no, it's worked for 30 years like that, we'll leave it alone, thank you very much. Then they came back and said, well, we'll pay to move it if it has to be moved. So today they excavated, found out the pipe was an old abandoned pipe, so they removed it out and finished up the infrastructure there. So they're, the county is doing very well on this project out here. It's, uh, I believe it's on or ahead of schedule, not like Beechburg last year. Uh, if I could, um, I forgot to mention, we're, we, it looks like we have a meeting with MNRF. Um, it looks like it's going to be next Thursday. So, um, yeah, if you could attend that, Mayor Johnson as well, that'd be great. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's moving in the right direction. Um, we were having a hard time getting a meeting with them, and uh, that seems to be resolved. So, I just want to mention that as well. Very good. <coughs> Um. Oh, that was right here. So that would mean the ad hoc committee that was struck we would no longer require, is that correct? Or do you think that's rectified, Steve? I think it's looking really positive. Um, I have been in contact with uh, the MPP's office. Um, she had asked me not to send them anything official yet. Um, let her talk to uh, somebody at MNRF. Uh, and which which she did, and I think that's one of the reasons we got a meeting. Um, plus, one of the project management um, members also contacted MRF, MNRF, and uh, yeah, we got a meeting. So that's a, a very good move in the right direction. So I think for now, let's just sit on the sit on it <laughs> in terms of the ad hoc committee. Um, yeah, things are moving, so that's good. Councillor Mackay. I don't. I just want to know what M and R F means. Uh, minis, uh, Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. It used to be just M and R. Okay, sorry, I didn't realize that. Thank you. And just out of interest, uh, on uh, that uh, project out here, I'm not sure, uh, Bill. The uh, inspector brought me up to speed this afternoon. I know him quite well. And he said that uh, as far as the schedule was going, they were going to start uh, the shave on Monday. Yeah. So that's, like you said, that's really working along well, eh? Yep. They've been, well, weather's been great for them too, so yeah. as well as us this year. Excellent. Yep. Uh, <coughs> Reeve Miller. I was talking to Steve Bolin. He said he'd be out of there by the end of next week. I wouldn't doubt Finish. it at all. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't yeah. doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that, yeah. Uh, Fire Chief Hebner, have you got anything to add to your uh, report? No, Mayor Johnson. Any questions for the Fire Chief? Thank you very much. Our Fire Chief does have to leave right now, so uh, we'll excuse him from the meeting. And thanks for, for coming, Mike. Or Mike, me. <laughs> thanks for coming, Wayne.
Where did I get Mike? No, I wasn't even thinking of Mike Moore. Oh, maybe I was. I didn't think I was. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hebner. All right. Uh, Councillor Holmes. Sorry, and, and because these aren't on uh, build report, they're not his jurisdiction, I understand. Just wonder if we get uh, another update. Um, Queen's Line, which again, I know is Renfrew County, it's not, it's not us, not you. No, that one I'm not sure of. It's, I haven't been down that way lately. Maybe <coughs> Councillor McLaughlin, he lives down that area. Would you be able to say? Well, <clears throat> I travel it every day. I think it's at a standstill. They've, uh, they've done a little bit of uh, patching and they've done some work on their shoulders. And uh, I, I was more concerned about Magnesium Road because they paved so much of it and stopped. <coughs> One side's paved, the other side isn't. There's a big hump like that. And uh, I, I, I was kind of waiting to see if the... Uh, if the Reeve had any updates, I mean, he talked to uh, Steve Boland, but uh, that, that's what I see just by driving the roads. Uh, I would hope they'd soon start. They see, I see pavers there. Uh, there's rollers there, but there's no man. So I, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they've moved to some other project and will be coming back. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> The, the reason I asked that is um, I was heading to the Shovel Fair, whatever that was, two or three weeks ago, uh, heading yeah. down the Queen's Line. And uh, I'm not a road expert, but it seemed like they were just putting new asphalt on top of the old asphalt, which uh, a lot of the old asphalt I, I know down that area that was pretty bumpy and stuff, so I'm not sure if that was going to be the end result or if that's a finished product or... No, no, they're, they're, what they're doing is going through now, and it's called padding, so they take all the, what would you call it, depressions and cracks, and they pave over them, and it's kind of like what they did out here on the Cobden Highway there a couple of years ago. They went through first, put a layer down that fills the cracks up, takes all the depressions out of it, and then they put a top coat on top. That's, I believe, is the same thing they're looking at doing down there. I'll read this motion again. Be it resolved, oh, moved by David Mackay, seconded by Daryl McLaughlin. Be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region receives and files departmental reports from Treasurer, Public Works, Environmental Sciences Services, sorry, and Fire. All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Daryl McLaughlin, seconded by Dave McKay, be resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region adopts the minutes of the July 13th, July 17th, and August 17th, 2016 Council and Committee meetings. Any questions? All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Reeve Terry Miller, seconded by Councillor Kathy Regier, be it resolved that the Corporation Service Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region accepts Carmen Miller as the new Administrative Planner Assistant. Her duties will commence on September 12, 2016. That's passed. And she doesn't spell her last name with uh, A-R. Oh well, it's not a conflict of interest then. Just, just saying. Can't vouch for her spelling. No, you can't. You know, that's just you. Know, what can you do? And uh, so, it would, uh, all those in favor? Oh, uh, question, Councillor mm, McLaughlin. No, just a comment. I think Carmen was with us tonight on the tour. That's the first time I had met her. Uh, 
I got it all straightened out. And I think uh, it was nice to meet her. I was at a function on past Friday night with um, Mayor Mike Lemay, and he said that he was not too impressed with us stealing his best people. So there, that's a pretty good comment for a mayor to give a staff member. And so, all those in favor? Carried. Moved by Kathy Regier, seconded by um, Terry Miller. <clears throat> I can't see that, didn't bring my glasses. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Be it resolved that the Corporate Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region passes the following resolution in support of taxation impact on campgrounds. Whereas the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has decided that some campgrounds are too small to qualify for the small business tax deduction. And whereas campgrounds in Ontario have begun receiving calls and letters from CRA warning them of reassessments in part because they are deemed not to qualify for the small business tax deduction since they employ fewer than five people. And whereas the camping community provides a source of employment, 15,000 jobs across Ontario, and supports economic activity by contributing $1 billion to Ontario's economy and generating $294 million in tax revenues. And whereas Camping in Ontario, which represents 440 privately owned campgrounds in Ontario, is working with the Canadian Federation of Independent Business to push the Department of Small Business and Tourism, Finance Canada and Canada Revenue Agency to implement changes that ensure campgrounds are recognized as small business and pay the same taxes as other small businesses. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Township of Whitewater Region recognizes the benefit and values all campgrounds throughout Ontario and in Canada and supports Camping in Ontario's initiative that changes be implemented to ensure campgrounds are recognized as small businesses and pay the same tax as other small businesses. And further, that a copy of this resolution be forwarded to the Minister of Small Business and Tourism, the local member of Parliament, and all Ontario municipalities for their support. <clears throat> Any questions? All those in favour? Carried. Thank you. Moved by Chris. Moved by Chris Olmstead, seconded by Terry Miller. Be it resolved that the Environmental Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region receives and files the Aqua Service Cost Plus Variance Report for Q2. 2016. Any questions? All those in favor? Carried. Moved by Dave Mackay, seconded by Kathy Regier. Be it resolved that the Environmental Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region approves the invoice submitted by the project managers JP2G Consultings Inc in the amount of 56,717.20 for the Cobden Wastewater Treatment Plant upgrades. Any questions? All those in favor? Carry. Moved by Chris Olmstead, seconded by uh, Daryl McLaughlin, be it resolved that the Protective Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region receive receives and files the July 20th, July? Oh, it's just for that, just okay. I thought maybe we'd have a date on that other than that. But okay, well, let's All right. <clears throat> Be it resolved that the Protective Services Committee of the Township of Whitewater Region receives and files the July 2016 OPP billing summary report. Uh, Councillor McLaughlin. <laughs> Uh, nothing on this, but if you would back up to the last uh, issue, uh, I think uh, Steve had mentioned having a, a meeting or getting a meeting with uh, 
MNR. So if you, oh, MNR, yes. Yeah, okay. And uh, I was just wondering, I would like to be kept informed as, as the chair uh, when that meeting is and uh, when and Absolutely. where and what time, and uh, hopefully I would be able to attend. That would be absolutely appreciated, yes. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Uh, no, you, no, you can carry on. Okay, I'm okay, going to skip that. Okay, I was going to bring my whistle thing. out, but it's okay. No, no, not a problem. We don't mind. We've got both forward and reverse going here. <coughs> All those in favor of the OPP bill being paid? We're adaptable. Yes, indeed, we're adaptable. All those in favor, again, of miscounting? Carried. I didn't use my regular signature there, if you want to know the truth. Moved by Dave uh, Mackay, seconded by Kathy Rigger. Be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region approve that the following bylaws be introduced, read, dealt with, the numbered, signed by the Mayor and Clerk, and sealed and recorded in the bylaw book. One, 16-09-889, disposal of surplus real property, Earth's Edge, Inc. Two, 16-09-890, agreement with Benjamin and Judith Schneider. Any questions? Uh, Councillor McLaughlin first, and then Councillor Olmsted. I, I think there is a recorded vote on the, the second uh, bylaw, is that correct? When, it, so. when we had? Yes, we did. Did we? <coughs> I think Charlene asked for a recorded I, vote on that actually, too, but maybe I, I'm wrong. I think Kathy Rager is the one that asked was for it? a recorded yeah. vote. No, I think it was Charlene. It was Charlene, yes, because she did not. It was Councillor Jackson because she did not agree. And, and, and her reason? Can you, oh, that was in closed though, right? It should be in the, the minutes of the. Her reason was stated as she did not want to set a precedent. Mm -hmm. If I may, you I may. also voted against that, and, and I still will stand my ground. Uh, I'm not in favor okay, of, now I of know. that agreement because... It passed at the last one, yes. Okay, well, we can have a recorded vote on that number 2-2 two, two. also. Two, two. You know, I, just as long as it's in the minutes of, of the final, of the, the other meeting is what I'm... Uh, it's in the past me meeting, okay. and you get a chance to vote against it tonight, too, if you want. Okay, I will. All right, I, so I do you would, want it recorded? I would like a recorded vote, Okay. and tonight on the bylaw, we're, we're passing. Okay, Councillor Olmsted. Um, I just want to go back to the first one. Can somebody just jog my memory what that one was? I can't remember what the Earth's Edge Inc. was all about. That's the Ready Recycle. He changed his name. Okay, so that wasn't the same name. That was ready recycling. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. <clears throat> so we can vote on the first one. All those in favor of the disposal of surplus real property, Earth's Edge, Inc. Okay, and we will have a recorded vote. Who was the mover on that? I guess tonight's the mover. Dave? Starts with Dave and it goes uh, counterclockwise, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Could you go back and, and uh, get the agreement and read the agreement before we vote on it? Okay, I could, or I can just, no, yeah. Because I would like to have, because some people seem to be puzzled on what the agreement was and what the discussion was. Oh, okay. Do you want me to yes, read the uh, agreement out? Okay. Like Councillor uh, Olmstead. Uh, so the, the gist of both the agreements, I recall, is one was a straight uh, cash for the property, and the second uh, option was uh, the property for cash and trade for uh, some some uh, work to be done with the township. No. Nope. That was no. That was ready. Sorry. That's Sorry, ready. that was for the first agreement with the ready Sorry, Is that not the one you're asking about? No, no, no it's, it's the Snyder one. Sorry, Snyder okay. Sorry. Yep. And it, 
I can, sorry, I can give you, a, we were going to uh, reduce the bill by the building permit amount for holding it against, for holding it against the, so that he had to tear down the old house when he was complete with the new house. Mm -hmm. Councillor McLaughlin. I, I think the just of it was, I think we used to always levy a $2,000 uh, uh, fee mm -hmm. to hold. And I think when the motion, if you have the motion in front of you, I think it was moved that it would be $2,000 less the cost of the building permit. Exactly. Yep, that was exactly yeah. it. And that, that was the discussion? Yep. Okay. That so was the vote we had, too. That, right. that was what the vote was on, yep. that agreement? Okay. As long as everybody knows. <laughs> okay, so the second one is uh, yay and nay, and it starts with the mover, which was Dave. He has voted yay. That moves to Councillor Rager. Okay. Yay. And Councillor McLaughlin. I will stand my ground as I did before. Nay, because yes. you're setting a precedent. Okay, and uh, my vote is yay. So it's carried. I used to do it on the front. Is that not okay? For the recorded vote, it needs to be put on the back of the I'm going to just go ahead with the end. How do you spell my name? Anyway. Same way as when we were in school, you mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just for procedure purposes, does that mean that we should vote on the first one as well? We did vote on it. I asked to vote on it. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I, I remember everybody going back and forth, but then he asked yeah. for a recorded vote. It needs to be clear that. Yes. Thank you. We we voted on the other one, and it was clarified who it was that we were dealing with by Marcia. We can do it again if if everybody's uh, okay. Sorry. Okay. It did pass. Okay. very specific on this kind of stuff and she tells me when to turn off the mic and when to turn it off now too. Okay. Any questions on the number 11 correspondence? 11 1. 11 1. 11 2. I do. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. okay. So the Clean Water and Wastewater Fund um, is, was announced in the 2016 federal budget. So if you look in the paperwork that we provided you, it does state that the Township of Whitewater Region will be eligible to receive a maximum federal allotment of $89,904 and a maximum provincial allotment of $44,952. So that goes towards um, items that for the water or the sewer plant. So that could be real rehabilitation projects, new construction projects, um, optimization initiatives and planning and, de and design work. And what it is, it's a cost matching. Um, so basically the province will pay 25,000, uh, sorry, 25%, the township will pay 25% and the federal will pay 50%. And our total, um, so our grand total then that we, that we will be eligible to receive is $134,856. So and this is a fund that is not a competitive process. So if we have, so we are eligible to receive this fund. Um, however, we do have to provide um, a little bit of like, like a project list that we need to submit. 
and if they okay that, then we will be receiving those funds. So Steve and I had a little meeting today and we thought that maybe um, we could apply for this for the new generator at the water, at the Cobden Water Treatment Plant. And that generator is an estimate of about a little over $100,000. And that is something that we will need. Um, and then down the road, the Beechburg Station will need one. So um, maybe Steve, if he has anything else to say. So that's why I wanted to bring it to you. There is a deadline of October 31st. So we'll bring it back to council. We'll have this ready for our committee meeting um, on the 5th. And then hopefully we can pass that, send it in. and. I mean, it will be obviously in the 2017 budget, um, but the project has to be completed by um, March 31st, 2018. So that gives us time to um, tender if this is a project or an idea that council would like to see. Because, Steve, maybe you can talk a little bit more about the, the need of the generator.